All right, Imagine is in chain. All right, folks, let's go ahead and ready up and get this thing underway. Good luck and have fun. We are underway a little bit late, but that's all right. Beginning of week five, an amazing set of matches. Let's see what we're going to get. Starting out, we have got two truly terrifying tater tots on the offense. Half life three on defense. Let's get How do you think most pair of standard metaguns we're seeing on T5? Looks like they're building up to go to A, but that could be the red herring, and we do see a scout lining up on the big game. Yeah, how do you think most teams are going to handle the rollouts when they're pushing? Do you think they're all going to focus on one point, or are they going to split up? What are you expecting? I think the smart money is on focusing hard on one point. Though, with a nine-player team, you can afford to send one or two folks to harass the other point, just to make sure they're staying honest and to keep people from uh, fully defending with everything they've got. I would expect, though, to see the combos stick together, going the same direction with only uh, light classes, such as uh, we see a scout, spy, going the other way, just to see if the coast is clear and to try and call support over if they find an empty point. Again, T5 sending everybody to A. A, looking lightly defended, see one soldier, and not a lot else. The control point is being contested. A being probably sacrificed here by HL3 in order to put a real lockdown over on B, would be my guess. Yeah, HL3 has everybody at B getting ready. Not a lot happened here. I'll take the camera over to B and see what our friends are about to run into. There we see a Spencer. There's a sentry gun and a slightly protected point. Sticky trap on the point. Demo on the roof with A. There we see a quick fix medic on the roof. Buzzy B will be pleased. And we see there is not a sniper over on T5, so uh, that combo is going to be in a fairly stable position. Spencer goes down to some rocket fire. The first point there, A, being captured in 42 seconds by T5, because it was mostly unopposed. We saw just the single soldier over there to keep an eye on things and slow things up. Probably that was Daryl. But looks like this defense from HL3 did take out the first wave against point B. Only three players were left up. And they are sniping. You see, imagine sniping towards the Y-shaped tunnel. T5 collecting a spawn wave together and preparing to push as a group. Both their medics have only just respawned, so that will slow them down. They're facing a full quick fix that Fowlong has. And uh, another HR3 medic, I don't know who to see. That looks like it's probably Trout, with uh, growing 50% and better. I think he is using a Kritzkrieg. A lot of long range rocket fire going back and forth, not a lot of damage being done. Bigger goes down. That is a medic going down for T5. That is not something they wanted to do at that point. However, a clever little sentry gun by Rumpel. Rumpel gets a wrangled mini sentry out that can shoot up at the roof. He goes down. Pyro protects it for a while. Nice work by Potato to blast some of those rockets away before the gun gets taken out. Devil, Devilish Potato does get a reflect kill. T5 probing from multiple points, trying to slide in from different angles and see where the weak point is. See where they can locate the gun, perhaps, and get onto the point. There we see the scout has figured out Maple Man. He knows where the gun is, he knows he can get on that point where he can't hit him. However, the rest of the team is on the roof for T5 shooting down through that hole. Nice job by Sparky to go and seize control of the roof. The gun has gone down. There's a demo medic combination defending on behalf of HL3, and here come their friends. 
This map's so difficult to hold for an engineer. You can really see some craziness going on. They pop an Uber, a T5 pops an Uber to force their way onto the point. They shove back the defense while their colleagues start to cap. The medic and a scout on the point. And here comes the full combo as well. T5 will control now. We're now with their dual demos up there. That's very effective use of demos. That's going to make it almost impossible to get back in here with anything short of an Uber. Perhaps a Kritzkrieg would work, but it's going to be a tough push, and I don't think HL3 is going to do it. Looks like they're pulling back, possibly preparing on point three. There's cap number two at 359. And it looks like they're taking the direct B to C tunnel with their heaviest classes. Well, we hear a fully charged big urn for T5. Walking out with pops it just as the stickies go off. Great timing there, or perhaps a bit of luck. I don't give them benefit of the doubt, say that was good timing. Dean walking up the inside stairs. About to be a party on this last point. Only imagine sniping. It's taken out by the combo. Oh, and here comes Devilish Potato and the Demo Jump. That was a well-coordinated all-angles push that just came in there. This is going to be quick. 4.43 to cap time. HL3's got to beat first half. Even 17 points apiece. Fiend, Shroot Farms, and Big Urn. Mission begins in 60 seconds. Thanks, Doc. See HL3 coming out the door, getting ready to push. They are all also congregating immediately over towards that A side. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean anything at this point, but it would not be surprising to see a similar push. So far, it looks like T5's got a scout, a soldier, and a pyro over at A. Mission begins in 30 seconds. That combination could uh, slow things down a little longer than just that soldier by itself did but uh, going to be difficult without a medic over there to actually hold off a full push if, in fact, that's what's coming their way. Did see a scout standing at the, at the U looking through the grate. That means he knows right where those people are coming. Maple Man reporting the double medics. And they do send everyone to A. They sure do, and we see they have switched. That's uh, Trout now with a standard metagun. And look at that, Rumpel slapping down those mini sentries like anybody's business. That's a great way to seize a little bit of control of the front. There's an Uber popping on the point, loses its target, puts it back on the engineer. Use who you gotta use. And demo pills coming in from far to try and slow things up. This will be slightly slower on the initial cap, I believe, than we saw last time. However, it is certainly going to be an easy cap for HL3. Rumpel's got his gear position way forward over there at B. There's the cap with 344 approximately left. We see the sentry gun there from Rumpel, as you said, that's, uh... I, I apologize, I gave Rumpel credit for those mini-sentries. That was Lemon, of course, still got who did the mini-sentry. Rumpel is defending now. He has that big level 3, ready to rock. Hard to get a level 3 up any other time except at the beginning of the map. So take advantage of it when you can. He's putting it in a position that doesn't hit the, the uh, point itself, but it just destroys people trying to make it in. Gun's been damaged pretty bad. He is down, but he's about to spawn. If he can get back up there and save that gun, that will buy them some important time. Combined with the demo spam. Oh, the gun goes down from some long range soldier fire before Rumpel can get to it. Good takedown there by the soldiers on HL3.
see a new gun going up there on a back point that does in fact cover most of the point. The telephone pole will cause some problems, but not enough to make it... Oh, let's see what Larry does here. Larry's spying. Oh, he gets the stab and saps the dispenser. However, the gun takes him down, so the gun stays up, a level one covering the point. In a difficult to hit spot for demos, unless they do exactly what we see Dead Bandito's doing, which is flanking around behind. Now Sparky on the roof for T5 defending. It's a scout just edging the edge of the point there. He goes down. In comes HL3. Chap made it up onto that roof. Now they got two demos up there trying to use the same strategy that worked against them per, uh, earlier in the game. That's a good idea. Alert. The control point is being captured. It worked well, so they want to try and repeat those results. They need to push in with that whole team, be aggressive right now, and try and grab it, because they're not going to have a whole lot of time to get to the next one. Nice little sentry gun there, hidden in the uh, hut there to help protect one of the entrances, but T5 doing a nice job defending here. HL3 having difficulty getting some traction on the second point. this a lot and it's very difficult, so much uh, easier to say it than to actually uh, try and change things up in a live combat situation, but we're seeing one and two people coming in at a time against a very solid defense, so it's getting hard for them to actually get onto the point. Got only about 10 seconds left. They put the entire team on it, they might be able to get the points for this, remember every point counts. But with that Uber there preventing the cap, that's not going to do it. So T5 will take the first one, three to one. The uh, All right, good capture game, guys. was in I'm about 59 the seconds map. that time. When the map reloads, HL3 is blue, T5 is red. So we're gonna reload the map, take a brief half time if you need to sub players. You heard the man. That's Flash, our lead referee, of course. Giving instructions to the team, it is at halftime. We are refreshing the map because this is stopwatch. What we saw in that uh, second round there, HL3 coming out, they brought their entire team with them in a big mass onto the first point. They easily took it away from the defenders there, just a few defenders. What my personal opinion I think needed to happen is they need to do that same thing again. They need to reset themselves. And when, uh, when they're going to go from A to B, they need to uh, get that entire group together and push in as a group and try and stay as a group as often as possible. Uh, T5 in that case just was able to get their group coherence uh, a little stronger. They were able to all support each other uh, across this great little battle arena around point A, and that made it very difficult indeed for small piecemeal groups of attackers to get anywhere.
T5, of course, will be defending first this round, while HL3 will be attacking first. That will change at the split. At the moment, T5 only showing a single medic up. That is liable to change since we're at halftime. But be interested to see if they do decide to go with that strategy in favor of a little more firepower. They are running a, uh, a heavyweight class loadout, as you can see. Whereas over on the uh, on uh, HL3, they are also running a fairly heavy loadout. They do have a spy in the mix, but uh, good spy, as we know Daryl can be, is uh, quite dangerous, more than makes up for the lack of straight-up combat sometimes. Do you think we'll see any variation to the rollout, or do you think everybody's going to go heavy to A again? I'm guessing they're going to go heavy to A. A lot of people have difficulty defending A, uh, and so they they just want to surrender it and get get their full build on B. I do like what T5 did there on defense last time, where they put enough players on A to, to make their presence felt, to slow things up a little bit, to kill a couple people, uh, you know, make them respawn, break up the spawn wave a little bit. But yeah, I imagine we'll see something very similar, where the teams are going to try and entrench on that harder to cap B point, and then uh, let A pretty much be taken. A, a strategy that you see also on Gravel Pit, which this map is very similar to, where the point that's harder to catch is usually the one entrenched, while the easy to take first point is simply given up. Do you think there'd be any advantage of Blue pushing hard to B and kind of shake Red up? Maybe they were not expecting it? Being unexpected is always good. Uh, they might be able to beat the full sentry build, given the dearth of ammunition on this map. Uh, if they could do that, that would be helpful. We did see how well T5 sentry gun defended the point that last time. However, I don't think there would be a lot of advantage to it. Perhaps you could get away with sending two or three people to A if you think it's going to be genuinely undefended just to take it while simultaneously attacking B with the rest. Um, could be mixed results from that. It would be worth a shot if, uh, if you want to try and mix it up. I don't know if it's what I would immediately do, but it's, it is worth consideration. What that runs the risk of, of course, is both sides failing. If there are a couple people defending A who are quite good at it, uh, they could take out the two or three folks sent their way, while at B, uh, if they do have the gun up or if the people are in position and, and hear you coming, you know, you really need to have a numbers advantage to take B well. Uh, so it could just result in both sides failing, and that's going to put you way behind on the stopwatch count. T5 indicating that they are ready. There's another minute or two in halftime, but uh, they're ready to rock whenever. As soon as HL3 is ready to go, we'll see that happen. All right, Captains, whenever you're ready, good luck, have fun on the second match. There's a Vassinator on, again, I believe that was P-Hats who took that name. Having some trouble keeping track of who they all are with their dinosaur names, but the medic. Trout's still recognizable. Good shooting! Medic! Appears to be running stock. Yeah, it looks like they've got scout and bee hats as their two medics. There we see the second medic coming into play on T5. He was a different class for a while, but Shroot Farms joining Big Urn as the meta class. Rumple has a stray, uh, 
parenthesis in there. Parenthesis instead of a square bracket on a tag, a uh, source of some humor. You're throwing off the chi on HL3 there, Rumble. Let's get this underway, gentlemen and ladies. of round one tonight. T5 took the first half, three to one. HL3 now attacking first, gonna try and return the favor. It looks like they are all headed over to that alpha side again. Other than the sound, they should know that it is of course visible through those small grates on the sides. It is possible to scout it out. We saw the scout doing that for T5 last time, checking around the side of the grate to see which way the team was going, what kind of loadout they had. Mission begins in 30 seconds. See a regular Uber and a Kritzkrieg are the final selection for the attack. I don't see anybody lining up to go B, so unless they're pulling a the fake out, and there was again the scout checking on it. We got a scout and a pyro ready to receive. The spy has faked back to go check the other way. I like that idea. Look one way, go the other. Yeah, this is the same defensive crew we saw last time, I believe. Pyro, Scout, and Soldier. But the crits, HL3, rolls out the crits, and that just tore people apart. No one survived. That wiped out the defensive team. HL3 is all over. Point A. Point A. They're just going to hold that. Get Banditos, making sure nobody comes to put long shots on them from the uh, central area. Daryl is a spy over at B. Backstabbed Rumple while he was moving his dispenser and then sapped the telly. That is a great move. Saw him go that way. Glad he was able to make something of it. Eliminating the teleport. Huge for an offensive push on this match. Sentry also being called as down. So that's all the engineering is down. The engineer himself just respawning. HL3 can make hay from this. Our control point is being captured. Engineer by himself there. Lemon running out across the point. Covered in milk. Barrel scaring the doctor. The doctor's by himself. Pops an uber defensively with nobody on him. Goes and grabs the nearest person he can. That's a demo. Not a bad target. Sparky helps him out with some pills. HL3 putting the pressure on. We see that crits coming in again from Frau. That is just brutal. They can walk onto the point here if they do that and are able to survive. They're going to be... Oh! Crit rocket! Crimson shooting star with the Lucky Crockett takes out the Medic and the Heavy. Both has the combo go down. We see another Uber pushing in. HL3 definitely in the action this time. There's the Spy on the point. They are working on taking that building. The defenders have been pushed out of the building. If HL3 can get a couple of more people in here to help out, they're going to take this. There's the Soldier by... who's against a Medic by himself. Pyro now in the building defending. Jump on this point, lads, and you'll have it. Oh, now we see it's HL3's medic who's running along by himself, trying to find somebody to heal or otherwise get out of the way. That's a crits creek. And we see they're using that Y tunnel. I suspect there may be a teleport or something back here. 
Everybody's coming through that Y tunnel from A to B. Prowling and bullets in every direction, getting Octomedic. They're trying to build up an Uber and charge. Meanwhile, the rest of the team keeping it hot. Soldier leaping in, standing on there, firing the original up into the building. And standing on the point while he's at it, right where he wants to be. Gets taken down by a defending heavy medic combo. But, got Stickies coming in from the roof. Chef up there. Doesn't have a lot of health, but he's doing some damage. They knew where he was. They Oh, he goes down. Sentry gun, level 2. Takes him down, takes Crow down. I think took a third person down. That's a level 3. That's a hard-to-do level 3 spot right there, but he gets it up, and it's now covering the roof and sides. It won't cover the point itself, but it will cover most of the approaches. Oh, Ubersaw takes out Spy Daryl. Shroop saying thank you for that. And they pop an Uber on a soldier as they're rolling in. Might have been a little farther away than they wanted to pop it. But better than dying. Oh, and the air blasts shove him away. That's devilish again. That's the pyro pushing away the uber combo. But he's off his station. That means the others get on. Snidely Whiplash with the stickies. Cleans house on the point. HL3 finally took out that level 3 gun from the roof. Excellent work by him. We do see Rumpel has got a teleporter up inside the building. It's being shot by an engineer who got in there. He gets taken down by the new sentry gun. HL3 Rumpel. really keeping up the pressure. They need to, again, stick together as a group, just get a little bit of their cohesion back, and they can probably take this. Rumpel wasted no time getting the second sentry gun. Yeah, Rumpel is a very skilled engineer. We've seen him play this class all the way through, representing his team well in that position. It's been some really good defense by T5. We hear spy sapping going on. Teleporter getting sapped down. Oh, look at that precision crit sticky by Sparky. He has got that ranged just right. A lucky crit. Flew across the map, under the ceiling of the tunnel, right in, knocked out both attackers. That just breaks a push. We do have her see the Trout is at 100% Uber. Bigger and also is 100% Uber. We can see a bit of an Uber battle here as they push in. Oh, the other medic, Velocihater, goes down. But here comes a combo. Trout with Frau going to try and bring an Uber combo in. They've got backup. Okay, the other Uber pop. They pop their second. They have Uber advantage here. Right. They might not Control realize quite tested. where... There they see them. Oh, and good time. Snidely, absolute champion in this round with those sticky bombs. Sticky cloud, three explosive classes all jump to the roof there, getting a little battle, but two of them go down. Right. In exchange for only taking out one enemy. It's a great possible advantage situation. Here we see HL3 on there. They're having trouble with Sparky now with the stickies, laying them on from the roof. Until they're able to suppress these demos, it's going to be real hard to get on that point, but that's hard to do. These demos have been doing it. Just a very pro job of being where they need to be and getting their explosives there as well. HL3 is doing a good job of trying to roll out as a group and attack together. But they're just getting pushed back. Uh, yeah, they're they're working a great deal, uh, working together a great deal more this time, and they're getting a little bit closer. But yeah, T5 doing a great job. There's the roof is cleared off. The heavy and some gear defending the point. Might be able to take it with the last 30 seconds. Oh, the NG with his sentry gun jumped down there, not realizing that there was a heavy shooting on the spot. 
lost the gun. We now have a heavy on the point. He goes down to what else? To a demo. Wow. Even down players on the location. T5 pulling off just a great defense there. And uh, just everybody on T5 doing a great job. And I, I keep calling those... Uh, Keep calling the uh, the demos. I think they were probably the MVP class of that match. Now we're going to see uh, T5 on the push against HL3. T5 has to either capture one point faster than 48 seconds or has to capture multiple points in any amount of time. That first push of theirs, they captured A in 42 seconds, so they could easily wrap this up real quickly. That they can. What HL3 needs to do is put just a couple of people over there to slow down the attack. If they can slow it down, they can uh, they can force the second point. But as we saw, that could be difficult. But it looks so like T5. Sorry, go ahead. So far, HL3 has got two demos and a soldier over there. Now they're going to medic joining them as well. That's what they need to do. That's a wise idea, because we see T5 knows exactly what's up. They are all piling up at that A gate. They've, HL3's got a heavy there now, too. They've got the bulk of their force over at A. That's a good move, because if that will slow them down, and they may even take them out, and that will buy them the time they need to make a real battle of it. I wonder if HL3, because of the lack of success last time, is going to actually try a full defensive A instead of B this round. HL3's got a soldier, medic, sniper, and engine. Oh, the medic goes down at A. That hurts. A crit, a crit rocket took out the medic. Uber has to be used to get on the point. And they're back off the point with it. Here comes the engineer. Or sorry, the heavy onto the point. There's everybody joining on. They have 18 seconds to cap it. It's going to be close. I don't know how fast this point caps. I don't know if they have it. I don't think I they do, actually. Five is the max. Yeah, that's not going to cap in less than 10 seconds. Oh no, they're up to 8, excuse me. Attacker needs two points to win, so... Good on HL3 getting the people over there they needed to make sure this wasn't just a walkthrough for T5. They are still contesting point A, heavy coming over. So far, HL3 has uh, held both points. Okay, T5 coming towards A again. They are not changing their strategy. Or are they? Oh, they are. One of the combos is reversing. Looks like a combo going both directions now. I'm going to go watch B for a moment, see what we see. It's a soldier on the roof defending. Maple Man, the scout, on the point. We also see engineering over here. Oh, the soldier on the roof kills himself by mistake, trying to defend. T5 jumps all over B instead. That was a good reversal by T5. Make fake towards A and then turn around and send to B. You see they're right now on both points. That's always very confusing when you're trying to defend and you see both points capping. That's where you need to have a good voice leader who can really command everybody. We are going to defend one of these two points. This is the one to get it. And just leave one or two people again with the harassing job on the other point. That looks to be exactly what HL3 is doing, so good for them on that. Looks like it was about 2.51 left or so when they capped that. It's now 5.45 on the map. If uh, HL3 can hold this for that period of time, they will win the second half here. However, if uh, T5 can take the point, T5 will win the second half. We see the HL3 sniper in there. There he goes. He gets taken down. And T5 is on the point. This is going to take a crocket or something of similar big impact to clear that many people off the point. We see most of the team, both medics close together. One of them has an Uber. This is going to take quick work. I think it might be wrapped. There's a medic running in. He gets taken down by the forward sentry gun. T5 is going to take the win. Good game by T5. Good game, ladies and gentlemen. Good game. Thank you all very much, and we will see you next week.
So GG there is, uh, as Flash just said, these two teams will be facing off against each other now. That's uh, five and s places five and six for them. They will be playing in the honor matches next week. Coming up next, we have got 32X versus the Ville Cup and Cakes.